Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a firewall zero hour news update. This is a very exciting update today because today we got community update 3. So this went up, you might have already seen it on the official firewall, or sorry, the first contact entertainment blog, as well as you might have seen it on PSV or Frank's channel because he's the community manager. But uh, I'm just going to read out what the blog says here and we can go over the bits of information that we get out of it. So basically says here hey guys shabs from first contact here it's firewall friday now that's important firewall friday because that's telling us this is going to be a thing every friday and we're here with a roundup of firewall zero hour news for the past week so then there's development update the main feature of the next patch is the opening of our playstation store which will include cosmetic items such as trinkets, face paints, weapon skins and more. Now I'm glad to see this after the released patch 1.03 because you know they're really focused on the important thing first before they put these cosmetics up in the store for people to buy. So it shows they've got their priorities in the right order, I think. But I have also seen, you know, a good a good sizable portion of the community asking, you know, when is the PlayStation store gonna open? When can I buy trinkets? When can I buy face paints, weapon skins, and more? So hopefully this will keep those people happy, myself included. So next point, we have a special surprise Halloween face paint for PS Plus users that we will be releasing soon. Stay tuned for this one, I think you'll like us. Now look, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to get myself too moist, too worked up. But, if that face paint isn't a pumpkin face paint, then there's never going to be a pumpkin face paint, you know? Now, a Halloween face paint? Come on. Has to be. Am I dreaming? Maybe. But uh, there's been plenty of winky face emojis going around, you know, stuff like that is making me suspicious. So look forward to that Halloween face paint in particular. That's the highlight for me. Never mind the rest of it. Never mind the fixes. Never mind the trinkets. Never mind the PlayStation Store. It's all about that pumpkin accessories. That's all that matters, okay? So point number three then is miscellaneous bug fixes and improvements. Of course, we have no idea what those miscellaneous bug fixes and improvements might be because they don't go into detail, but we can assume they're not huge or else they probably would have listed them. Hopefully, it'll fix a few blue screen crashes and stuff like that, make the game a bit more stable. And then the final point is actually very exciting. But this doesn't relate to the next patch now, so you gotta be careful. You gotta watch the word in here. So they say, we are currently testing features for future patches. So this isn't the next one that's coming. This will be in the future, which includes handling away from keyboard players, a big concern. Weapon offset options. This is something I've seen a lot of people complain about too. Not an issue I've ever experienced. I don't understand how, some, how so many people are having different experiences here. So what weapon offset means, if you don't know, is uh, people are complaining that they're holding their aim controller way too low down their chest to be able to look down the sights. But for me, it's it feels the same as Fairpoint. Maybe it's just my brain tricking me, but uh, it's not something I notice. But still, they're they're looking at the people who are complaining about that. They're looking at giving them options, you know, making them happy. So that's good to see. Then you've got the anti-aliasing for PS4 Pros and a whole lot more. So the anti-aliasing thing for PS4 Pros, if you haven't heard, basically PS4 Pros, when they launched the game, built in Pro support, like the number one thing I think that was different between the standard PS4 and the PS4 Pro, was that PS4 Pro had this AA, this anti-aliasing. Now, in theory, this should make jaggies nice and smooth and stuff like that, so you don't notice them as much, but apparently it's making things too blurry for people. Now, I've never played the game on a standard PlayStation, so I don't know the difference between them. I don't know if there is if it's much clearer on the standard PS4, but with this update, it seems like I'm gonna find out soon enough. Although it's in the future, not the next update, that's a future update. Then the end saying stay tuned for our Friday updates for more info on these. So every Friday there's gonna be a community update and every Friday they're gonna tell us more and more about what they're working so that's really cool i know a lot of people are complaining criticizing first contact entertainment for being so quiet but now it's looking like hey they're going to tell us something every friday that's what i want to hear that's what a lot of people want to hear so i'm happy about that so then they link to frank's uh video version of this and they talk about the developer versus developer live stream they had with camouflage studios which was on frank's channel which was very cool they briefly talk about the accolades trailer that released
released there last week or two weeks ago. I can't remember how long it was. And then they kind of ended up with just saying, like, stay tuned for more, check out Discord and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the main things to know is that there's an update coming soon. The next one's going to have to do with bug fixes, small bug fixes, and mainly the big thing is opening up the PlayStation Store, getting trinkets, cosmetic items, stuff like that. But it's great to see there's reassurance there for the other really important stuff like AFK players, weapon offset, anti-aliasing, stuff like that. They're working on that, so that's good to hear. And with that, I will end this video, lads and ladies. Let me know what you think of community update number three. Let me know what you'd like to see in community update number four. Is there something you wanted to see that you haven't seen them address yet or whatever? Just let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, if you like this channel and whatever I'm doing here, then please consider doing all the usual shite. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.